I think fighting or some form of combat sports, I feel like every man should at least experience in his life. Most men, especially in today's society, need to be humbled a little bit, get choked out once in a while. Oh, here's a flurry. He's in big trouble. Clay Collard clinches a playoff spot. I'm the guy with all the odds stacked against me, and I'm still going to show up, and I'm still going to put on a banger, and I'm still going to get these wins. I have my good days and my bad days. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Whether I feel good or want to do it or don't want to do it, I'm gonna do it. I think that has to do with staying dedicated to something I love and staying dedicated to the sport. I need to be dedicated every day to be a world champion, and so I am. So I can run from that big Canadian <laughs> for five rounds. <laughs> we can't let him grab us. <laughs> Stand on one leg. You can move all you want, and you just can't touch nothing. We started Ooh. training for this season months before it even started, and it hasn't stopped. After about two minutes, it starts to suck, because It definitely takes a durable, strong-willed person. All year, you have fight, you win, you fight, you win, you fight, you win. You're, now we're up to this point. It feels like it's all just built up, built up, built up, and here we are. These are all the muscles the meatheads don't like to do because they're no fun. <laughs> what do meatheads do? Squat, bench press, curl, that's about it. It's been a hell of a journey getting here. It's been extremely hard. To be here at the end of it, at the championship fight, it's definitely well earned and well deserved. I, I won't feel like the job is done until you we win the next fight. We're gonna come walking past this white car right here. What's up, dude? Hi. What are you doing? Nothing. You have a good day of school? Yeah. What'd you learn? I don't know. You didn't learn nothing? No. What the heck are we sending you to school for then, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. What'd you learn today, Caden? We were learning about uh, verbs. Oh, today. verbs. This season, there's been a lot of sacrifices. I miss a lot of family time because I pack up for four days and I leave and I train. Collectively, we, we, we all make a lot of sacrifices for me to be able to do this and to be in the position I'm in today, which is getting ready to fight for a world championship and a million dollars. That was a long nap. Hi. Hey. Oh, big stretch. Oh, big stretch. I mean, I feel like family's a big motivator for everybody. One of the main reasons everybody in the world does anything. <laughs> don't, don't we all do something for our family? I'm gonna beat you today. No, you're not. Yeah, huh? The camera's here. I gotta win. Shut up. Oh, you're gonna talk smack, huh? We'll, we'll talk smacky chant or what? One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna win. He beat me yesterday. You gotta hit the tree with the pine cone. That's it. That's it? All you gotta do is hit the tree. Grab eight of them. You first. Yeah, let's see it. Oh, no go. Oh, there's one. Oh, one to one. This is the kind of stuff that I wish we could do like every day. Throughout the year, they, we don't have like much of a normal life. I'll go left handed. You got it. Three. I call him oh, every once in a while and two. cry because I'm like, these kids are not listening and it's because you're gone. But as soon as he gets home, they're fine. <laughs> There's the smile. <laughs> you know, my family of four boys being packed into a three-bedroom house. I want to be able to get us into a bigger place. Let's see your let's see your gritty, dude. 
Let's see it. <laughs> All the things of the American dream, you know? Big house, white picket fence, family, dog in the backyard. Like, that's the dream I'm trying to create for myself. Yeah, we're not there yet. Presents The Regulators by Stephen King. Writing as Richard Bachman. Read by Frank Muller. Chapter 1 Poplar Street. Man, I like fighting tough guys, and apparently he's the toughest guy in my division. Yeah, I love this shit, bro. So uh, I just jumped in the car, started driving to Utah. I have about three hours. Me and my brothers kind of started a little book club. We all got the audio and I mean, it makes the drive go by a lot quicker. A lot of hours in the car. We all know how hard it is to leave your kids. And he does it week after week, knowing that he's doing this for his kid and his family. I don't think I've ever seen anyone that picks this up as quickly as he does. We could literally go over something a week before a fight. Uh and he'll hit it flawlessly in competition. We always joke that we're just some roughneck hillbillies from Utah, but his genius is martial arts. Got some blades on that Pressure's on, man. We got a big, strong Canadian looking across from me, and he's looking to take my head off, and he's very good at taking people's heads off. I'm extremely excited to test myself against OAM, and, and I really feel like I'm the man to beat him. I feel like I fight better when the pressure's on me. I don't think Olivier's ever been in the cage with someone that puts on not only the physical pressure, but the mental pressure that Clay does. People think all the time, like, I'm gonna get with this kid, and I've got this game plan. But until he's in your face, throwing 150 punches around at your body and your head. He's gonna be very shocked at the level of martial artist that Clay is. I'm the guy with all the odds stacked against me and I'm still gonna put on a banger and I'm still gonna get these wins. I'm Cassius Clay Collard. 